If you like this video please click on the like button. Comment with the names of the movies you would like us to cover next. Click the subscribe button and press the bell icon to get notified of our latest creations. We cover 100 movies from around the world every day. To advertise with our channel reach out to us. Our contact information is on our channel page. Now, let's move to the plot of this movie. The film opens on a rainy night. A woman, while trying to hire an auto standing by the curb, notices an unconscious girl at the back seat. She calls the police upon realizing that something was wrong. But she is chased by a man sitting in the driver's seat. The scene then shifts to a New Year's celebration by the beach, where a cardboard box atop a parked car attracts the attention of revelers. The police are called. An identical box is also found in a park. Amputated male arms are found in the boxes. And the case is put on to senior inspector J. Krishnan. Known as J. K. Cheran. Of the CB SID. He is a brooding ex-cop who shifted to the CB SID from law and enforcement and at present is. Searching for his sister Charu. In air who disappeared six months prior. Prakash, Shankar, and Tamil Selvi, Dipper Shah, are two junior officers who are put onto the case to assist J. K. At the morgue, they meet Judas Iscariot, J. Prakash, a medical examiner, to investigate the hands. Judas, mildly esoteric, often draws parallels between J. K and Jiddu Krishnamurthy, J. K., is able to identify one pair of hands as belonging to auto driver Morthy and follows the lead. Through a local goon named Surendra, they single out a middleman named Rajamunakam. J. K., then gets a cop to give him sensitive information stored in files at the ACP's office while still trying to trace his sister. He often goes and visits the place where his sister was last seen in the hope of getting clues. Meanwhile, Rajamunakam is tortured, his hands amputated using an electric saw by a black-clad man with a shaven head, and displayed in a subway crossing. A constable gives a tip that Rajamunakam's bike is at a lodge in Triplicane. J. K. goes to investigate but finds a man. Ragu, whom Rajamunakam stayed with at the lodge, killed in his room. He chases a man who crossed him on his way up into the streets, but loses him. The focus then shifts to John Brito, a missing man who stayed with Ragu. Interviewing Brito's brother, he finds that Brito was the cause of disgrace to Dr. Purushothaman. Y. G. Mahendra and his family who all committed suicide the previous September. J. K. gets permission to reopen the Purushothaman case. Purushothaman had been accused of bribery. And his wife Anapurni, Lakshmi Ramakrishnan, a professor at a women's college, of instigating a 19-year-old lab attendant named Manakandan to have sex with her. However, Everyone questioned has only nice things to say about the family. While Manakandan is said to be a petty thief and a scoundrel, it is discovered that Manakandan has been missing since November, having disappeared around the same time as John Brito himself. Quote, now we are introduced to a mysterious green qualies, which prevents an auto rickshaw driver from kidnapping a drugged woman and abducts him instead. Single quote. Tamil Selvi, while looking at old case records of the Purushothaman case, finds that Purushothaman had a daughter named Suja. Srishti Dange, who disappeared on the same day as Charu, September 6. J. K. investigates the Purushothaman family's house, and later goes to a dodgy inspector who handled the Purushothaman case. Isaki Mutu. G. Maramuthu. For details. J. K. Prods Isaki to give him details about Duraipandi. Manika Vinayagam. 
a textile shop owner and influential businessman who was accused of peeping at girls in the change room of his shop through a hole in his office, one of whom was Suja. J. K. interviews Duraipandi, who was able to get off after his manager Nadamani took the blame. J. K. is unfazed and undeterred by what Duraipandi has to say and concludes the case is showing resemblances of having the Rashomon effect. He then reconfirms again with Judas on the findings of the Purushothaman family's autopsy. He is able to get a major lead when he finds that there were two people in the auto rickshaw that took Suja from her dance class. The same is established for his sister's disappearance. We then find that ACP Thirasingu, Selva, Isaki Mutu, Duraipandi, Sharif, Inba, Ugendran, Ragu's murderer, and the missing men, Nagu, Morthy, and Rajamunakam, are in cahoots. Thirasingu arranges for Sharif and a few men to deal with J.K. and keep his nose out of their business. In the midst of the ensuing fistfight, Sharif is kidnapped by the same Qualies. J.K deals with the men, and Sharif is tortured and executed, but not before he names a few men. A new box with the auto rickshaw driver's severed arms appears in a club used by two of the named men, and Sharif's head is found outside Isaki Mutu's police station, minus its eyelids. J. K. triangulates all misdeeds to ACP Thirasingu and Isaki Mutu as all the severed body parts were found in areas under the ACP's jurisdiction. Notwithstanding the fact that the Purushothaman family's cases were handled and closed by Isaki Mutu himself, but his boss Chandramuli, Ardakalam Naran, refuses to have the officers questioned, fearing higher pressure, unable to take any further action. J. K requests a gun permit. Quote. It is also revealed that Charu is being held captive by Thirasingu. It is discovered she is the woman from the first scene. Although he regrets having kidnapped her, he plans to use her for later. Then, the Qualis appears again and tries to kidnap Isaki. But it is forced to flee when J. K. intervenes chasing the Qualies to a darkened underground car park. J. K. and Tamil Selvi very nearly corner the Qualies, only for it to broadside their car and make good its escape. Tamil Selvi is wounded in the accident. When she comes to at a hospital, she reveals to J. K. and Prakash that there were two black-clad people in the Qualies, both with shaven heads one of whom was a woman. After rescuing Isaki Mutu, Thirasingu realizes that someone is looking for revenge for Purushothaman's death. And with the help of Purushothaman's ex-classmate, finds out whom. Both Thirasingu and J. K. then understand that the Purushothaman family may not actually be dead. J. K. Concluding so when he finds the air conditioning unit grill in the Purushothaman family bedroom to be tampered with from the outside. And when he learns that three corpses with age ranges and physical characteristics consistent with those of Purushothaman, Anapurni and their son Nishanth went missing from the morgue where Judas worked at about the same time as the family's suicide. At a party, Judas comes in and tells Duraipandi and Co. The men named by Sharif. That he is willing to sell information about their activities. He leads them to a van wherein they are gassed and knocked out. But as they are leaving, a shootout takes place between Thirasingu, J. K. and their comrades. In which Judas dies after confessing. Single quote. Judas says that he is the only one who must confess, as the Purushothaman family will never speak again.
The reason he helped the Purushotha mans in their grisly deeds was one of pure friendship, love and gratitude. Because the doctor, who was also his classmate at Valor CMC, managed to keep Judas' daughter alive for four years before she finally succumbed to a heart condition. Judas' friendship with the Purushothaman family was so strong that Suja was like a daughter to Judas. Quote, Thirasingu and Co. are revealed to be running a racket which involves kidnapping and drugging virgin girls, who are then stripped naked and raped before Duraipandi and his friends. All wealthy men in their late 50s and early 60s who are impotent. In return for a huge sum of money, Suja Srishti Dange is one such victim. The girl in the auto, apparently having been abducted as revenge for what Duraipandi perceived as public humiliation at the hands of her family. It is during her kidnapping that Charu is also apprehended. Somehow, Suja manages to return home three days after her disappearance. Unable to bear the trauma of the rape, she commits suicide the next morning. Her parents, brother Nishanth and Judas decide to take revenge on all those responsible. They fake their deaths after meticulous planning. Two months after they successfully fake their own suicides, kidnap Brito and the Pian Manakandan, and make them confess. Later, auto rickshaw drivers Nagu and Morthy as well as Rajamanakam, were kidnapped, tortured, and then had their arms severed. Single quote. The boy Nishanth, Sunil Chowdhury, is caught in the fracas and taken into custody by the police. J. K. receives a call from Inba, who wants to trade Charu for Nishanth. Chandramuli blatantly refuses to do so. However, his subordinates, Prakash, Tamil Selvi, and Constable Kitapa, E. Ramdos, bring Nishanth to J. K. at the cost of their jobs. Nishanth reveals the location of his parents to be the old Palaniapan Mills. Both parties head there. Another shootout occurs. Nishanth is caught by Isaki Mutu but is distracted by the arrival of Duraipandi and Co all of whom have had their eyes gouged out, and also Brito and Manakandan, both with their tongues cut off. Isaki Mutu manages to wound Purushothaman with one bullet and tries to finish him off. But before he can do so, Anapurni rushes out and stabs him in the head, killing him instantly. The couple continues their onslaught, killing Inba and the rest of the gang. Although Thirasingu keeps pumping round after round into the duo, his bullets merely slow them down somewhat. Finally, Thirasingu arrives with Charu, seeing her as their daughter Suja and this as a chance to save her life. They sacrifice themselves for her as J. K. kills Thirasingu. Single quote. Duraipandi is sentenced to 13 years prison. The others are sentenced to seven years each, with the exception of Brito and Manakandan, who are given three years each. Nishanth is asked to be produced in court by the police, but J. K. covertly sends him abroad under the alias of Mahesh Muthaswamy, giving him Victor Frankl's man's search for meaning, asking him to search for the meaning of his parents' sacrifice. Because of this, J. K. S. team is suspended for six months for letting a convict escape. 